guys, welcome back to my channel. Quick disclaimer right at the beginning of this video, I forgot to turn some auto settings off of my camera, so the lighting kind of changes a lot, especially towards the beginning of the video. Also, I keep pulling the paper out of sight later on, so I'm really sorry about that. That said, I'm going to move on to what I want to talk about. On December 5th, 2013, I put up the YouTube video Alice's Sketchbooks May 2011 through now, which was a really, really terrible quality video that's really fuzzy and has bad lighting and lots of weird cuts and weird edits. But it was the first time I decided to put up an art video on YouTube. After that, I didn't do anything until April 9th, 2014, when I decided to do the three marker challenge. That led to a couple months of sporadic uploads, I did the blindfolded drawing challenge, the art desk and workstation tour, and a speed drawing of Rapunzel which I uploaded in mid-August. It was that point that I really decided to start taking YouTube more seriously. I was falling in love with the art community on YouTube and all of the artists that I would seen upload videos and it was something that I really wanted to be a part of. So about 11 months ago, I figured out a name for my channel, I started getting intros sorted, and I uploaded the Hello Alice channel trailer. Around 7 months ago, I decided to upload the first part of my Watercolor 101 tutorial series, which is called All About Paint and to this day is one of my most viewed videos. At this point, I was really, really starting to enjoy my YouTube channel. I was getting a couple comments on my videos and people were seeming to like what I did. On December 7, 2014, almost a full year after I uploaded my first art video and about 3 or 4 months after I started taking my art channel seriously, I hit 100 subscribers and I posted a super excited video that you all can see because it's still up on my channel and I'm a total nerd in it, but I was definitely way excited about it. From that point on, YouTube became something that was really important in my life. I was always trying to come up with new YouTube videos. I was starting to talk to some of my real life friends about it a little bit more and be less shy about the fact that I had a YouTube channel. And I was really loving the fact that I was seeing some people that were commenting on multiple of my videos and they knew who I was and they were very encouraging and so sweet to me. Just about three months ago, I hit 1,000 subscribers right at the very end of April, beginning of May, and I announced my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. And I was completely floored. I was just like, how did I hit 1,000 people? How are there 1,000 people watching me right now? Like, I was just at 100 people. What is happening? And I was so excited and I felt so encouraged to keep making videos for you guys and it was just so nice to interact with you all and I started to get to know the rest of the art community more which was just really great. I even started to see some other YouTube artists, ones that I really respected and admired and had been subscribed to for a while, subscribe to my channel which was amazing and made me a little bit starstruck, not even gonna lie. <laughs> Last Sunday on July 26th, I spent pretty much all day trying to get my Watercolor 101 Other Materials video up and ready because I was being so picky about it and I just wanted it to be perfect. And when I uploaded it, I went and looked at my channel and realized that I had over 5,000 subscribers. Of course, I promptly freaked out and tried to figure out where on earth you guys had come from because last I checked, I thought I had 3,500. I then found out that one of my favorite YouTubers and the person that actually really inspired me the most to start taking YouTube seriously was subscribed to my channel. Cue freaking out and a little bit of crying and some definitely embarrassing fangirling that luckily my sister was the only one that had to witness. Although I did also call my mom. As I'm recording this right now, it's the last day of July, it's the 31st of July and I have 5,475 subscribers. There are 5,475 of you that want to watch my videos and that support me and I am just blown away and I want to say thank you so much. Um, I've had people message me and say that I inspired them and say that my videos helped them learn to love watercolor, that my do what you love video has helped them be inspired to go out and chase their dreams, that my animation school video answered questions that they couldn't find the answers to. People have gotten excited when I've commented or messaged them back and I'm just like, what? No, I'm, I'm the person that fangirls over people, what's happening? And honestly, it's just blown me away. Um, I'm getting really emotional filming this video, which is just like crazy and I keep having to stop the narration. Um, but. Thank you all so much. I cannot believe how supportive everyone in this community has been. Um, my friends and family in real life have been so supportive. Um, 
everyone I've told and I was so scared when I first started YouTube but everyone is so nice and it means so much to me that I've been able to help even one of you or bring a smile to your face and honestly putting up YouTube videos has been such a life changer for me it's made me start making so much more art um, for myself and it's pushed me as an artist and it's allowed me to meet so many amazing people and I know I still have so many more amazing people uh, to meet and it's just been so fantastic and I cannot thank you all enough you've all been there for me and you're also amazing and I just I wouldn't be here without you and you are what makes it so worth it so for all 5,475 of you, people that have been with me since a year ago, and the people that just subscribed yesterday, thank you so much. I love you. You are amazing and you make this so worth it. All right, guys, that's it. As always, thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day. Another helpful tool for the painting process is this guy. This is a pipette. Um, you, can, you may have seen them in your science class. You can get them at art stores uh, and you can just use it to squeeze up water and drop it into your paint palette.